how to edit a WordPress homepage. Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can edit your WordPress homepage. So let's get into it. So as you can see right here, I am using the Astra themes. That is why this looks so good. You can go ahead and install it as well. And once you've installed it, now you can go ahead and edit it. So currently I'm on this WordPress website. And what I want to do is I want to click on customize right here. So this will directly take me to the website customizer or builder built in WordPress. Now, another way you can do that is by just simply coming over here onto your dashboard and then going over here onto templates and then you know clicking on theme builder or you can just simply come over here onto appearance and click on customize and that will also take you to the wordpress builder if there are specific pages that you want to customize then simply go to pages and click on all pages and then just choose a page that you want to edit and you should be good to go and over here you can see you have different options and over here this is how the editor looks like and over here you can see you have different options this is the block builder that is built in wordpress uh, you can use uh, other builders such as elementor or classic builders depends on you but if you are just you know tweaking a little bit making small changes then i would say the block builder will do just fine you don't need any other builder but if you still want to you can it doesn't matter so we are editing the home page and the home page is the most important one as everyone that comes to your website will be you know coming over here first and seeing and judging your website based on your home page so if it's not up to par or you know doesn't look good then you won't get a lot of traffic so make sure that your home page is fantastic and perfect so let's get into it now if you are using a theme, you know, pre-made theme, you won't have to make a lot of changes as the theme itself will have a bunch of different, you know, elements to it that makes it unique and beautiful, such as you can see right here, like this little segment looks pretty cool. The only thing that I would actually need to do or change is the text and the pictures. And that is it. I don't really need to change the layout or the background or anything else as that would not you know fit well with the rest of the theme so make sure you don't change a bunch of stuff but if you want to change make sure it fits together and blends together so let's get into it so first things first let's say we want to change this over here as you can see not a lot of stuff happening but if you want to change it you can change it you can even select or add a video right here so to do that over here on the left hand side you have a bunch of different options so so go ahead and select the section you want to edit so as you can see if i go ahead and scroll my mouse over the header it gets highlighted which indicates that i can go ahead and edit it so to edit it all i would need to do is click on this pencil icon to actually go ahead and edit it now over here down below you can see you have the site logo option the primary menu the search buttons and the join button which you can see right here so you can go ahead and edit it out these menus however the only way you can do that is by just simply going over to the dashboard and editing it out yourself and you can change it up so home page you know don't necessarily need to change all of these but you can leave it as it is the navigation bar the header but if you want to add your own logo as you can see it already has that widget right here which is the site and logo so just simply click over here and click on select logo to select the logo and upload the file right here to actually go ahead and upload and you can even upload a free image if you want to but you know uploading a logo is best so make sure you do that so for now we'll leave it at that next what we want to do is over here is the bread cup right there is no position for that next is the blog this is the main one so over here is the blog archive so you can go ahead and select a container as well moving along we have the page option this is the single page or the search page so if you click on the single page you can select the design area as well you can just select the layout and all of the good stuff now this editor was just for this uh you know home page footer and header section now if you want to edit this entire page uh, we'll have to go back and for this one we have to choose edit page so this is the page and this will give us more option so over here you can see uh, as soon as i go ahead and hover my mouse all these different uh, items or elements are getting highlighted so we can go ahead and change them and edit them so let's say we want to change this picture so to do that we just simply click on the picture and we can simply click on replace and we can open the media library 
and we can select the page or video that we have right here or uploaded or we can choose a free image as i said before and we can click on these we can change the text over here we can change the font we can change the colors as well so over here as you can see i selected it and in general we can see we have the content separator call to action we click on style we can select the title over here we can see the colors add typography right here separators description all of that and if we click on advanced we can select animation and we can add a different animation so we can add like a fade down so that would allow us to have a fade down animation same we can add an animation for this image as well so if you click over here click on the animations advanced we can go ahead and add a fade down or a fade up actually now if we click on update now we click on view page and it'll open up right here we can see the animation plays out so it looks pretty cool now since it the animation came out over here and didn't for these elements so we can go ahead and add an animation for that as well so for this one we can go ahead and change let's say fade from left or fade from right actually that looks much better same with this one fade from right there you go this will have much better options so if i come over here i reload the website now we can see yeah the animation works and it looks much much better so we so something like that we can change these types of element and add these types of animations to it to make it look that much you know better now as i said before if you wanted to add more sections to it or add something else how would you do that well just simply click on this plus icon to toggle the block inserter and over here you will see you have so many different options so you can go ahead and add all of these different ones so let's say as I said before you wanted to add like a picture over here right or a video so in this search tool just simply search for video and you will have the video right here so just simply click over here and there you go we can now add a video right here so you can go ahead and delete this section and add the video and you can go ahead and upload the video from here or insert the url directly of that video right here and there you go it's as simple as that same with other stuff as well if you wanted to change this image you can change this image by clicking on replace and adding your own image as i said before changing up the text is as simple as just simply clicking on it and typing whatever you want to type and of course as i said before if you want to change the style just simply select the text click on style and then click on typography and over here select the font you want so it can be Arial, it can be helvetica or it can be georgia whatever you want you can go ahead and select it and it'll work so it depends on you how you want to you know edit it what you want to change but yeah very simple this is how you do it this is how you go ahead and actually go ahead and change and edit stuff in your home page and that is how you customize it so thank you guys for watching and hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye